Hi there, Tim Bauer here from LiveLeaderGuitarLessons.com with the practice tip of the day. This one is for the beginning player, and, and this is uh, something every guitar player needs to know how to do and eventually learn how to do it. I just want to give you some quick tips. Alright, so, um, you're going to end up dropping your pick in the sound hole a lot. You've probably already done it, and um, uh, it's, I just want to kind of show you the quickest way to get it out of there. So you're playing along, and you know, uh, uh oh, there it goes. Alright, so that happens a lot. Um, Alright, so usually... And you know, I've seen this a lot with my students. When they do that, they just want to, their first inclination is to just, you know, turn the guitar upside down and just start shaking it wildly. And, you know, eventually it'll come out. But it's not good for your guitar to shake it really hard like that, I, I imagine. And, um, it, and it's just kind of like, it, it, when it falls out, it's just luck. You know, it's just happenstance. So let me show you a method for doing that. All right, so let me get up here. Um... All right, so first thing we want to do, we can just use a little gravity to put the pick right there, right? So if I put it there, I can see it. So I'm just going to shake it around a little bit. And if I had my overhead light, I can see it. My overhead lights are off, so it's a little dark in here. Close, It messes up the lighting of the videos to uh, uh, run the overhead light. So anyway, so now, now I can see the pick is right there. And in guitars... I don't know if you've noticed this. There's, you see that brace back there? It's kind of lit up right now. You have one brace there, and let me get the other brace. Well, there you go. The other brace lit up back there in the back. And where those are, they're right here. They're on opposite sides of the sound hole. And in the middle of the braces, um, they're kind of tall, but up against the sides of the guitar, they're, they're shorter. So since the pick is right here, I can just kind of lean it up against that brace, and I can just kind of give it a gentle flip to get it over that brace, don't, 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 and that, remember again, that brace is right here. Don't hit it so hard that it, it goes over, don't flip it so hard that it goes over both braces because then it ends up back here and you have to start all over again. All right, so once I, I'm, I've, I've jumped over, now my pick's about right there. I jumped over that brace. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to gently shake it around. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get it right under the sound hole. It's jumping around here a little bit. Okay, this is the most important part. Well, not the most important, but it, the better, the more directly under the sound hole it is, the better. All right, so what I'm going to do, uh, make sure you're away from ceiling fans and make sure you have plenty of room over your head. You don't want to, you know, hit, hit anything and, you know, hurt your hand, hurt your guitar. So what, you, what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take the guitar and we're going to spin it up and out, and we're going to use a little centrifugal force to make it stay... Right now, I don't want to tip it up because you won't be able to see it, but right now it's directly under the sound hole. So if, if I do it kind of quickly, in a, in a circular motion, the centrifugal force will hold it in place until I get the guitar upside down. And if, if I do it right, it'll just fall right out. Sometimes it doesn't go exactly as planned, but uh, hopefully it'll just fall right out. So I'm just going to kind of do it about this speed, flip it upside down, make sure I'm not going to hit anything. And there we go. Fell right out and actually went down my shirt. There, there we go. I don't know if you even saw that. Uh, sometimes it'll hit you right in the eye. So, anyway, let me grab this. So, that, that's all you have to do. Um, uh, you don't want to end up, you know, with, uh, um, you don't want to end up shaking your guitar wildly. And you don't want to end up with 20 picks in your guitar. So every time you, you move your guitar around, it sounds like maracas, you know. You, 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 you have to get those picks out of there. And you don't have to take the strings off, you don't have to stick your hand in there, and you certainly don't want to stick your hand in there when, when the strings are tight and put a lot, of, a lot of pressure on them. So, plus it's hard to fish them out of there anyway. So that's all you have to do. So anyway, hopefully that helps. Um, as you get better at it, the reason I'm so good at that is because, um, and the reason anybody who's been playing guitar for a long time is good at that, is because when, when I was learning how to play, when whoever is a, an experienced guitar player was learning how to play, they drop the pick in there a lot, and they, you know, they, that's a, a well-practiced uh, uh, motion for me. So, you anyway, know, oh, real quick, make sure when you do that, I see this a lot when people are trying to learn how to do it, um, make sure you don't go, is that going off the camera? Mm, let's crash down there. Uh, well, maybe I'll, I'll crash down like this. All right, so make sure when, 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 you, when you flip it around that you stop when the face of your guitar is level with the plane of the, of, the, of, the, of the floor. Because if you go over too far, like that, you're going to miss it, and it's not going to come out the sound hole, 
and you'll, you'll have to kind of shake it around while it's up sliding. Maybe it'll come out and you might have to start all over again. Maybe you can shake it out, but just don't go too far. The idea is to get it completely upside down quickly using the centrifugal force and it'll come right out. So anyway, all right, well, hopefully that helps. Thanks for tuning in for this practice tip. Tune in again tomorrow for another one and I will see you next time. Thanks.